guys and welcome to my Comic Con vlog. We are just about to leave and head off over to the XL. The car's already unpacked. Um, I'm all sorted and ready. So today is Thursday and we're just going to be setting up the table today. We're not actually going to be selling anything. Yeah, let's get in the car and head off. finished and set up ready for tomorrow we did this fairly quickly and I'm really happy with how it looks we've got all my new signs up such as here uh, and over here down here we've got these little tiny signs I think the text is possibly too small but they'll do for this weekend I can change them up for my next convention but at least it'll help and giving people an idea on my prices. Then because I'm on the end, we've got my tote bag hanging up here. And I think they make a pretty good display and you can see all of my designs this way. So yeah, we're gonna head over to the hotel um, and we'll be back here tomorrow morning. We're at the hotel and we're off ready to leave for day one of Comic Con. So we will see you there. Take it down. <laughs> And we're all ready for day one. day is now over and we're heading off home we're about to shut everything down today has been a pretty good day thank you if you came over and bought something from me i do really appreciate it some things we sold last time that sold out we haven't sold off any of this time but other things we're pretty much super close to selling out of um, which is really surprising because it is only the first day so hopefully tomorrow goes really well as well and we can start selling out more things hopefully I did do better in October on the Friday than I did this time but it still went well anyway and I'm really happy with how I did so I will see you guys tomorrow I'm set up and ready for day two hopefully today will do really well because this is the biggest and busiest day at Comic Con for the second day of Comic Con. We did a lot better today and actually it was my best ever Saturday so we're about even so far on what I did in October. So um, hopefully tomorrow will be really good and we can make more uh, and do better than them. We are 10 minutes away from opening. We're all set up and sorted. 
We're running low on quite a few things, um, which is good because it'd be nice to have some space in the boxes when we go home. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film because I think today will be another busy day. And it's over and we are packing it down, ready to go home. I didn't get a chance to really vlog anything today, but yeah, it was a good day. But now we've got to go home. I am now back home from Comic Con. In fact, it's been about two or three weeks now at this point, but I've been so busy working towards other markets that I haven't really had a time to sit down and talk about how it went for me. So this was my third ever MCM at Comic Con, my third ever time being in the Creative Pavilion, and my second time going to Comic Con in May. Overall, I am really happy with how I did. I sold lots of things and I did about the same as I did last year in May so I'm very happy that I managed to consistently keep it the same. It would be a little bit nicer to get it that little bit higher but you know I'm still new to doing this. I don't really do that many conventions. I only do about three a year, Hyper Japan and the two Comic Con ones so I don't really get a huge chance on like learning how to improve things and stuff like that. I do think I am but maybe not as much as some people who do them every single month. I just can't physically do that many. Um, I just don't think it'll ever be possible for me to do that. I just, because I make so many of my products myself um, and I have other projects going on in the background that, you know, I don't show on camera. So there's lots of different bits and pieces and I just don't think I can physically do more than that a year, maybe sometime in the future, but currently, yeah, it's just not possible. I'm not surprised that I did better in October than I did in May, just because in October, people are willing to spend a little bit more money. It's closer to Christmas, but not quite yet there. Um, people are starting to buy presents for themselves and other people. Plus in May, a lot of people go and sit outside in the sunshine, out in their cosplays and talk to friends and stuff. Whereas in October, the weather isn't anywhere near as nice. So they come inside and spend a little bit more money. The difference isn't too huge, but it's definitely there. This May, we had a very nice weather so there were lots of people sitting outside. Unfortunately we were stuck inside all day so we didn't get to see any of that inside the XL but I do know that lots of people were enjoying the sunshine outside the convention. My mum came along again as my helper which was very nice of her to do so thank you for doing this. And thank you to you guys if you came along, said hello, or if you bought anything from me. And if you are new here and you found me through Comic Con, thank you so much for following me and you know coming along with me on my business slash YouTube journey. Um, I try and upload regularly here. Um, I'm finding it a little bit more harder than I used to. COVID made it so much easier to upload every single week, but I try to aim to upload at least once or twice a month. So thank you for coming along. And if you did get anything from me, please let me know down below in the comments what you did get. Um, even if it was from some other artist, just let me know what you bought at Comic Con um, and what you got up to that weekend. I'm stuck behind my table most of the weekend, so I don't really get to see a huge amount of what's going on. Um, I just see, you know, the stuff in front of me and that's pretty much it. So it'd be nice to hear what everyone else gets up to during the convention. I did, however, get time to do a tiny little bit of shopping before and after the convention shut. So let me show you what I got. I'm gonna start with the big companies first. So as always, it is not a Comic Con without me buying something from the Tofu Cute and the art box stand. I got this little duck guy. He reminds me a lot of my illustration, so I thought he was really cute. And I wore him on my lanyard the entire weekend because he obviously matched my duck design on that. Yeah, he is very sweet. I'd love to do a little keyring this small at some point. I don't know whether how possible that would be, but that would be a really fun thing to do with some of my own characters. Then next up, I got this pom-pom Purin figure, and he's got a little strawberry and a wheelbarrow. I got him at the Miniso stand, and they have all sorts of mystery boxes available. There's so many different things that you can buy there. I've bought one of these ones before, one of the strawberry themed ones, and I loved it so much that I just had to get another one, and this is what I got. I've also got a little yellow duck which is currently living in the wheelbarrow. Someone very kindly gave this to me. 
every single time at Comic Con I always come home with some sort of little duck but thank you so much and I've got another one to add to my collection. Then next up I have this meringue phone charm, meringue from Animal Crossing. I obviously have all sorts of Animal Crossing products on my own store and I really like anything Animal Crossing themed. It's actually been a while since I've played the game but I still love the characters because they're always really really cute. Marshall and meringue are definitely my favorite ones. So I just had to get, yeah, this meringue at Foam Charm. I need to find a home for it, but I think she's probably gonna go on my bag. I've not put her anywhere because I wanted to make this video first before I did. The artist who designed this is called Branchy. I'm gonna go and link them down in the description if you wanna go and give them a follow. I was very, very excited when I saw that this artist was going to be at Comic Con. I followed them for a while on Instagram and they have a fairly big following, but they're not from England. I think they're in Italy. So it was pretty exciting that they were coming to a UK convention and I could see them at their table from my table and they had a huge long queue for the full weekend. It was always packed there so they probably did it very very well there. But this is from Hannah Vibara. So Hannah Vibara are two twin girls who illustrate and kind of redesign char popular characters as anime characters. So I got this one of the girls from Winx Club. I've seen this for a long time on, and I've always kind of really liked it and wanted it, but now I was actually able to buy it in person. Um, and yeah, I think it's really cute. It's really good quality. Very, very sweet. Each thing you bought also came with this kind of Polaroid um, inspired Sanrio print as well. It's very cute and good for a little freebie. So that was a very small little haul. Um, I don't really have a huge amount of time to look through Comic Con, so I can't really buy a huge amount, but to be honest, it's probably for the best because everyone has super cute things. Um, and if I had more time, I'd end up spending every single bit of my profit. So it's probably good that I don't have the time to look around. I'm possibly thinking of going to the MCM Comic Con in Birmingham as a guest rather than as an artist. Not 100% sure on that yet, but I think it'd be fun to actually have a chance to look around the convention. I know it's a little bit smaller than the London one, but still I might do that possibly. I'll have to see. Maybe I could even do a little bit of a vlog and actually show you what it looks like to be in a convention. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't have more footage from Comic Con, but I think that's just how it's always gonna be with these vlogs, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you did enjoy it anyway. Thank you again if you followed me or came to my stand over the weekend. And I guess I will see you next time in the next video.